Brian, why did you bring tongs? I told you, we're not gonna catch crabs with tongs, we're gonna use our hands. G'day kids, welcome to another episode of, wait, you introduce it with me. You ready? Oh, Aussie madness, can I get an F5? Yeah. Today kids, we're going crab hunting. Not to take home though, we're just gonna catch the crabs, have a look at them, and then let them go again. We're here on some mud flats, and we're looking for crabs. Do you know what sort of crabs these here are, kids? Did you say soldier crab? If you did, you're right. These little guys here are called soldier crabs. And the reason why is that when the tide goes out, these little guys pop up from their hummocks in groups of hundreds, sometimes thousands, so that they can all march together over the sand. That's madness. Kids, crabs belong to a group called the crustacean family. And the reason why is that they have a shell. These little guys here have a hard shell. Feel it. Do you know what color their shell is, kids? Did you say blue? If you did, you're right. These little crabs here have got a light blue shell with some creamy colored legs with little purple stripes. Most crabs shells are flat, oval shaped shells like this one. But you see these guys, can you see the shape of its shell? It's a dome shape, isn't it? What else do we notice about these soldier crabs? How many claws do they have? Let's count them. Just grab him like this. One claw, two claw. The soldier crab has two claws. And you notice that they're at the front going in front of his body like that. What's that, Brian? What does a crab use its claws for? That's a great question. Kids, do you know what these soldier crabs use their claws for? Did you say for food? If you did, you're right. These little guys here, they pick up scoops of sand and they sift through them with their mouth and they extract detrituses, algae, and small organisms that they can eat. When they're finished, they spit it out as a round pellet like this. That's madness. What's that, Brian? You think beaks are better than shells? Well, of course you do, Brian. You're a parrot, kids. What else do we notice about soldier crabs? Let's have a look. How many legs does a soldier crab have? Should I count them? All right, wait, what's that, Brian? You want me to sing the number of legs a soldier crab has? But what do you think, kids? Should I make up a song about how many legs a soldier crab has? You think I should? Will you count the number of legs with me as I go? All right then, I'll do it. Ready? A one, a two, a three and four. This is the little soldier crab I saw. Yeah, now ready for the other side, kids? A five, a six, a seven, eight. This little crab is me mate. Now let's put him back again so he can march with his friends. Yes, yeah, so kids, how many legs does a crab have? Did you say eight? If you did, you're right. A crab has eight legs. Oh, kids, you know what else I love about these soldier crabs? Let's just catch one. Ah, is that the soldier crabs are pretty cool in the sense that when they want to escape predators or people, they corkscrew down into the sand like this. And what happens is that when they do that, they're building a pocket of air in what's called an igloo. They take that air 
down underneath the sand with them so that they can breathe as the high tide comes in. They're under there with their pocket of air and they're safe. When the high tide goes out, they pop back up from their hummocks and they start to feed and run around with all their friends. Not all crabs breathe air. What's that, Brian? You breathe air? I know you do, buddy. So, does that make you a crab? No, of course not. Kids, Brian's not a crab, is he? He's a bird. All birds breathe air, Brian. But for crabs, it's pretty rare. This little guy here, I just love him. And you know what? I think it's time for a fun facts with Jero. And today's fun fact is about, can you guess? Did you say soldier crabs? If you did, you're right. There you go, mate. Today's fun fact, kids, is that soldier crabs don't move sideways like this, like most crabs, oh no. Soldier crabs move forwards like that and backwards. That's madness. Well, kids, thanks again for joining us today on All Aussie Madness. Did you enjoy this episode? You did? That's great. Do you remember the fun fact? You do? That's right, it was about crabs, wasn't it? And that soldier crabs move forward rather than sideways. So, kids, I don't know if you've got a sandy beach or some mud flats near you, but if you do, get out and explore them with your friends and family. You can smell the fresh air and feel the squashy mud and sand between your toes. You might even see a soldier crab or another type of crab. So get out and explore now. But remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time on All Aussie Madness. Say goodbye. Brian? Brian, what are you doing? You can't dig an igloo and go home with the crabs, Brian. This is madness.